Jalapeno poppers are the perfect quick snack or for a gathering meal, or you can really have them with any dish as a side. In this one, we're going to be making a delicious bacon cream cheese filling and then topping it with even more bacon to create an explosion of flavors. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right, starting this off, we're gonna need six rashes of streaky bacon, or back bacon's completely fine too, but streaky bacon comes from the pork belly and has a really nice flavor. With this, slice it in half to make it easier to work with, then slice into thin, even-sized strips. Rotate 90 degrees and dice into really small pieces. This way it's going to be a nice bite size and just be better to fill our jalapenos. Next is 80 grams or 2.8 ounces of cheddar cheese or any good melting cheese of your choice. With this, we're just going to run it along the larger side of a box grater to break it down, just until you have something that looks like this. We're also going to need two spring onions or scallions with the roots and stems separated. Both of these can be sliced on a straight angle with the roots being used in the filling and the stems being used as a garnish. For an optional ingredient, we're going to need three grams or 0.1 ounces of coriander or cilantro, which can be roughly chopped into nice small pieces. And then we're also going to need two cloves of freshly peeled garlic, running them along a fine microplane or box grater to create a paste, which is also known as minced, making sure to scrape it all out of there to avoid any waste. As for the main ingredient, we're going to need 12 jalapenos. You can use red chili, regular green chili, or even just bell peppers if you wanted to. And with these, we're going to remove the tip by either slicing it or simply snapping off the stem, which reduces a lot of waste. With these, slice them in half, then either using your fingers or a spoon, snap out the pith and stems, then give it a bang on the bench to remove any excess seeds and just pop these aside. Now to make a quick sauce or mayonnaise, add one whole egg to a tall jar or container along with two and a half teaspoons or 15 milliliters of white vinegar, one teaspoon or 10 grams of Dijon mustard and 200 milliliters or 210 grams of any neutral flavored oil. Let's then place in an immersion blender and blitz this up until it emulsifies and creates a nice thick mayo that's thick with three C's. Next, add in 60 grams or three tablespoons of honey, 60 grams or two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, a small pinch of cayenne pepper for a little kick and is optional, and sea salt flakes to taste and cracked black pepper. 10 cracks worth. Place the immersion blender back in there again to blitz this all up until it's nice and smooth and evenly combined. Then pour this into a clean jar, bottle or container, making sure not to waste any. Place on a lid and store this delicious honey mustard mayonnaise in the fridge until ready to serve and up to one week for any leftovers. Once that's done, place a medium to large size pan over a medium heat, and whilst the pan is still cold, add in all of that diced bacon and fry this off for about three minutes, just until the bacon fat starts to render and it only becomes a very light golden color. We don't wanna be cooking this too long as it will be going in the oven, so once that's done and you have something that looks like this, this can then be removed from the stovetop. Place the bacon along with the fat into a medium sized mixing bowl, making sure not to waste any of this good stuff. Then add in half a cup or 25 grams of panko breadcrumbs, sea salt flakes to taste, and 10 cracks of black pepper. Give this all a good mix together so that the breadcrumbs can absorb the bacon fat. And once you have something that looks like this, we can then just pop this aside for the time being. As for the filling, to a clean mixing bowl, add in 220 grams or 7.7 .7 ounces of softened cream cheese, the freshly grated cheddar cheese, the spring onion or scallion root ends, the freshly minced garlic, the roughly chopped coriander or cilantro, three quarters of the bacon and panko breadcrumb mix, saving some to sprinkle over the top, and then finally, cracked black pepper, 20 cracks worth. Let's then give this all a really good mix together using a spatula or wooden spoon, pressing down onto the cream cheese to mash it up, making sure everything is evenly combined, leaving us with this beautiful clump of flavored cream cheese. Next, spoon the filling into the 24 jalapeno halves that we created, pressing it down firmly, and you can also do this part by hand, which gives you a little more precision, but that's up to you. Place these onto a baking tray lined with parchment paper and sprinkle over the bacon panko crumb, giving these a little crunchy top to each individual one. Hit them up with some more cracked black pepper, which is again optional, as I've already added quite a bit throughout this recipe. Sprinkle over a small pinch of smoked paprika for a nice little pop, and finally, very lightly drizzle them with olive oil, which will help prevent them from drying out. Transfer these little beauties over to a preheated oven set at 190 degrees Celsius or 375 degrees Fahrenheit, to which we can bake for 10 to 12 minutes or until golden and melted, then carefully remove and let cool for five minutes. With that all done, you'll have these absolutely beautiful jalapeno poppers with that delicious bacon crumb on top. Then we can place these onto a serving board or a plate, serve them alongside that delicious honey mustard mayonnaise. And like always, to make this all worthwhile, we can then dig in.